Hi, my name is Lara and I am a digital analyst here at Multiminds. Data analysis is a big part of my job and for that I often use tools such as Google Analytics or Adobe Analytics. But I don't always get exactly the data that I want in those tools. Fortunately, there are a lot of programs available to help you achieve that. And I'm not talking about Excel because that tool tends to get a little bit slow once you're working with big data. But I'm talking about R and RStudio. Now, if you're a business profile, don't be afraid by the term programming because just a very basic knowledge can get you a long way with R. RStudio is an open source programming tool, which means that you can freely download it. The big advantage of an open source tool is that everybody can cooperate into making the tool even better. There are a lot of people that created packages, so you don't have to be a programming genius to be able to work with the tool. Packages are an easy way to help you write a code with just a few functions. They contain complex code behind the function that you don't need to know to be able to work with it. For example, there is a package specifically created to get Adobe Analytics data into R. It is the package called R Site Catalysts, and that's the package that I will show to you guys today. Um, and it's a very easy way to get big data out of Adobe Analytics. R and RStudio can be installed on any device, whether you have Windows, Mac or Unix. I won't go into detail on how to install these programs in this video, but you can find information in the description of this video. Now, what do you need to get started? First of all, you have to have admin rights to the report suites that you want to use. And secondly, you will need a username and a secret. This information can be found in Adobe Analytics itself. Just go to admin web services and there you will see a table with all the API access information that you need. And that's all, you don't need any, anything else to start. Now, let's go explore RStudio. So, this is what RStudio looks like. As you can see, it consists out of a few areas. First, we have the script area. This is a box where we will type our script and basically tell R what to do. Below that, we can see the console. Here, R will show you the output of the script when you run it. On the top right, you can see environments. Here, R will store all the data and values that result from running the script. And below that, plots will show graphs if you create them. Under packages, you can see available packages, as I explained in the beginning. And there are many more packages that you can simply add here just by writing a simple code. For our example, we will use a package created for getting Adobe Analytics data. You can install a package simply by typing install packages in the script area. Between the brackets, you then type the name of the package that you would like to install. Installing a package is only needed the first time and if you never use it before. After you installed it, you only need to let R know that you will use it. And you can do this by typing library and then the package name between brackets again. So if you would come back to R another time, there is no need to run the install code anymore. You can just use the library code to let R know that you will use the package. You can run this code by clicking on the run icon at the top or by pressing command enter. The package that we are installing for this video is the R site catalyst package. The first step is to let Adobe know that you want to extract data. You can do this by authorizing yourself using your username and secret. Just copy paste the code shown here and paste your key and secret. Remember you can find this under admin and then web services. If you don't see your name there, you don't have enough access rights and you should request these first. If authorization goes right, you should see credentials saved in our site catalyst namespace in the console. Now that we are authorized, let's start with getting to know which data from Adobe there is available. R has some interesting shortcuts to give you a full overview of which metrics, dimensions or other data there is available. With only one line, you can get a list of all of these. If you are not sure which possibilities are available, you will see that R automatically fills in the functions that are available. If we start typing get, you will see a complete list of all the functions in our site catalyst package. Most of them speak for themselves and R also gives you a short description for each function. The most interesting ones are get report suits, get segments, get evars, get metrics, get props and get elements. 
Now to be able to run these functions, you need the report suit ID of the one that you want to get data from. Just run the get report suites function if you want to know the ID for the report suit you are using. Now, if you run the functions like this, you will see that there is a list popping up in the console. But of course, sometimes it can be much easier if you just have these lists available at all time and you don't need to run these functions over and over again when you want to see the values. You can save this information by storing them in data objects. Data objects are some sort of Excel tables that you can always look at. You can create a data object by typing a name that you, that you can choose freely, followed by an arrow. Let's create a data object called metrics, in which we store all the metrics we have available. Now you will see it appearing in the environment after running the code. Now that we know which data is available and which data that we need, we just need to tell R what we want to see. The code we use for that looks something like this. Again, the name before the arrow is the name that you can choose freely for the data object in which everything will be stored. I just used my data for this example. QDataWarehouse is the function from the R site catalyst package that gets all your data out of Adobe Analytics, and then everything between brackets helps you define what exactly you want to see. There are more elements that you can put in this function, but this one just contains the most important ones that you need all the time. First of all, you indicate out of which report suit you want to get your data. Next, you tell R the date range of the data that you want to see. The format for this is year, month, day. Then you tell R the metrics and elements that you want to get. Remember that you can look at them in the data objects we created before. And then the date granularity. This can be hour, day, week, month, year, depending on which data you need. If you want more information on this function, you could also just type QDataWarehouse in this help part as well. And R will give you a list of the possible elements, its definitions, some more information and even an example. And if you still cannot find what you're looking for, the internet is full of really hands-on information about R, which is another benefit of the open source tool. Now, let's just run this function and as you can see the console will start working and will fetch the data. Once R has finished running, you can look into your data under environment. Now, chances are big that you'd like to store this somewhere as a CSV. This is also easily achieved in R. Let's type getwd, which stands for get working directory, to see the path in which R will save the file. You can easily change this directory by typing setwd followed with a location that you want to store the file. Then all there is left to do is write a CSV file. The code for this is write.csv and then between brackets two elements. The first element between brackets is the object name, in our case my data, and the second element is a name that you want to give to your file. You can choose this name freely, just, remem just remember to put .csv at the end of the file. And there you have it. Now don't forget to save your code if you'd like to use it again later. Then you can simply just change the date elements in your code and get a whole new data set. I hope this video convinced you to give R a go and see what all the options are. Don't forget to check out the internet. There's a lot of information on RStudio and on how you can get data out of Adobe Analytics. Thanks for watching.